Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, The Bee Whisperer. It's still raining, as it has been for the last five days or so, and still looks like it will be for another four or five days. Um, so, uh, doing another uh, video for you from, from the office here about what I'm planning to do when all this crummy weather uh, disappears because the bees are being held back, held back, and they are ready to burst with energy and uh, and bees because we've got brood emerging. There's going to be some enormous um, orientation flights uh, coming out. Uh, but I want to tell you what I'm going to do with all these nukes that I'm making because I've not been able to... Um, because this year I've had to split and split and split my hive to make the demand for the nukes I've got. And so now I've made lots of splits. I've got lots of nukes coming ready. Um, most of the ones that I had getting ready for sale will be ready to go in about two weeks time. But I've got a lot in parallel with that, which are going to be ready to go into honey production. Problem is they're only gonna still be nuke size and the honey flow is getting, we're getting late um, uh, for honey production. A lot of the honey production should have taken place in the last two to three weeks, but I don't have the big hives to do that with. So I'm gonna tell you how I'm going to go about turning nukes into massive honey producers. And uh, I've done a video um, on this, this theme um, oh, about a two, year, two years ago, I think it is, um, called, um, single brood chamber management with a twist and so what we're going to do is we're going to be turning those little nukes into big honey producers or at least i hope so it's worked for me in the past let's i'm going to show you what i'm going to do okay so picture what you've got is a nuke and you've got your little entrance in it and that that sort of thing and in this nuke, you're going to have some frames of brood. And these colonies are building up nicely. Normally when I'm selling a nuke, I've got at least three full frames of brood, maybe the odd one um, with extra brood in the outside frames. These are five frame nukes. Now, what I'm gonna do is pair these nukes up. And maybe in this nuke, I've simply got three nice frames of brood there. And these will grow very nicely, but if you're putting them in the conventional um, colony, they're going to take a while to build up, uh, be more substantial um, before they go on. And then they've, you've got a relatively large amount of brood per field bee. Um, and in doing so, the, these colonies will grow and you can um, you can do perfectly well with them. But in the process of doing that, you're also using the queen's full, um, full potential. And in some of these cases, what I want to do is save a queen uh, for next year to replace some of the colonies that I lose in the spring. So um, what I do is I'm going to pair these nukes up. and put them right together, literally touching each other. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to put a queen excluder on these boxes to make sure that the queen, that's a queen excluder. This, I don't want the queens to go back and forth to each other. Then I'm going to put another box on top, a deep super. Now, actually, the deep super doesn't quite fit. The deep super is actually a little bit smaller. So what I sometimes have to do is put a block here just to, because the thickness of the walls in the center of these boxes here doesn't allow for this deep super to cover the entirety of this. So in fact, this sticks out a little bit over here. And this sticks out a little bit more over here. And so I might, I need a little shim here just to make sure the rain doesn't come in into the boxes, but that, that's not neither here nor there. It's not really important. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brood and I'm just gonna put one frame of brood here 
another frame of brood here from the original boxes and the queen will be here and the queen will be here as well and i'm going to take the remainder of this brood and put it upstairs one two three we've got a total of six full ones so we're up four full frames of brood up here and a couple of halves and then we will just put some combs of foundation well not foundation in this case if i want them to draw make um honey fast i'm going to fill this up with drawn comb but i could use a bit of foundation so let's say i put some drawn comb here here and here 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 and here and we'll put a little bit of foundation in it as well okay what the heck so that's foundation that's foundation these are drawn comb drawn comb drawn comb drawn comb drawn comb drawn comb and this is brood and it's going to be capped emerging brood at that so we've got brood 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 and then i'm going to fill up with drawn comb here so we've got six here seven eight nine ten and what's going to happen is this brood is going to emerge and join the field force we've also taken away this is kind of like doing a demary split we've taken away the brood from the queen and given her lots of space to lay here and we're just coming into a time when if the weather cooperates and that's a big year for this year the we should be getting lots and lots of honey flow so we should be just getting into the main part of the honey flow now so this should work pretty darn well so what's going to end up happening i'm going to move this along a little bit is we are going to end up put this there and of course we've got our queen excluder here so the queen can't get through and they are going to queen this is going to get filled right up with brood and the queen will use every frame at her disposal and fill it wall to wall with brood and I've done this before and it's worked very, very well. All of the frames up here are going to emerge and that's going to, over the next three weeks, that's going to fill with honey. And if I put any foundation in here, they will get foundation built in here as well. So within a very short time, I will have needed to put another box on and that will also get filled with honey and i have very successfully a couple of years ago i tried this with five pairs of hives and i not only did these colonies do really well and not only did they fill this super with honey in very little time they also drew the comb and filled another deep super with honey and they even did a third one almost full now this was a year that had a good fall honey flow in this location as well and these little hives this little combination made 150 pounds of honey uh, in one season and what's more and out of those um 10 nukes I got eight of them through the winter as well as overwintering them as single nukes um, but more of how I do that later but this worked really well I got comb drawn I got lots of honey but I only used two nukes in order to do that and the nukes were producing honey right away as a as opposed to producing a lot more um, brood so I can certainly recommend this as a very successful way of utilizing nukes during a good honey flow 
and avoiding swarming because they put all their energy, all their surplus energy into honey production. So I hope you found that interesting. This is how I'm gonna be making use of a good number of my nukes. I've uh, got more that I'm intending. I'm gonna be taking a lot of the nukes and putting them into larger hives, of course, um, but I'm gonna have more nukes than that. And so I'm gonna put some into honey production and this way they'll get into honey production more or less right away. Um, on the few days in between the rain, um, my nukes, I, I looked at some nukes this morning, I managed to get in there for about, and get through 10 nukes and um, to see how they, if they were ready for sale. And I have loads of honey in them. They are, they are still stuffed with honey. And in fact, they, they flew for about two hours yesterday and I was shaking nectar uh, from, from these nukes where it's, not, it's been raining every day since Saturday, so that's now five days it's been raining, but we had about two hours window yesterday and they put enough um, honey in there to shake nectar already from the nukes. It's uh, quite amazing. The bees are determined to build up fast right now. And this is a great way of conserving the energy of the queens um, whilst producing um, a good honey crop from relatively small colonies. And also your, um, managing it so you're gonna be using relatively few mite treatments because you've got relatively little brood. They're easy to handle, easy to manipulate, and you have more numbers of colonies going through the winter, which means you've got an insurance policy for next year to fill in the spaces of the colonies that died out. So this is a great way of turning small colonies or nukes into massive honey producers. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. See you when the rain stops.